In this lesson, we're going to look at how to multiply uh, a bracket by a cube. Okay, so this we've got x plus 1 all cubed. So the easiest way to think about that is x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 1. So I'm going to write that out first. Now there's a few ways to do this. I'm going to show you the technique that I always use. Um, but there is more than one way. I always look at the second two brackets and I try to multiply them out first. So I'll leave the x plus 1 at the front. I'm going to leave it alone for now. I'm just going to rewrite it. But the second two brackets I'm going to multiply out just using the technique we learned earlier. Now you can, you can draw in your wee uh, lines if you want to do that. So we're doing x times x. Then we're doing x times 1. And then we're doing 1 times x. And then 1 times 1. Okay, so x times x is going to give me x squared. x times 1 is just x. 1 times x is x again. And then 1 times 1 is 1. Now I'm going to continue to concentrate on this. I can simplify the x's here. So I'm going to keep the x plus 1 at the start. And I'm going to simplify that down to this. Now this is just the rainbows technique that we learned in the last video lesson. So once you get to this point, there's not really any new stuff. It's just a case of multiplying it out properly. So if you think the x multiplies by the x squared, the x multiplies by the 2x, and x multiplies by the 1, and then you're multiplying the 1 by all three terms. Okay. So when you do that, x times x squared is x cubed. x times 2x, just do the 2 times the 1. Imagine a 1 in front of the x is 2, and x times x is x squared, so it's 2x squared. And x times 1 is x. Then you're going to multiply by the 1, so 1 times x squared is x squared. 1 times 2x is 2x, and 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, so you just collect up your terms, so x cubed, there's nothing we can do with that. There's a 2x squared, another x squared, so that makes 3 of them. There's an x here and a 2x here, here, so that's 3x, and then your plus 1 at the end to finish off, and that's you multiplied x plus 1 by itself three times. Okay, let's look at another example. x take away 2 cubed. So as before, uh, multiply it out um, by setting it out properly first. So we set it out like this, x take away 2 times x take away 2 times x take away 2. You are going to concentrate on the second two brackets. So you basically rewrite the first one. And you multiply this. So x times x is x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. Then we're starting here. Negative 2x times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is a plus 4. Again, still focusing on this, we can simplify negative 2x, take away 2x, to negative 4x. And then we start our rainbows method. So starting with the red x, we're going to multiply the red x by all three terms. x times x squared is x cubed. x times negative 4x is negative 4x squared. Negative 4 times the 1 in the front gives you negative 4, and then x times x. And x times plus 4 is plus 4x. Okay, now we're going to multiply by negative 2. So negative 2 times x squared, negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times negative 4x, so that's negative 2 times negative 4 is plus 8, and then your x. And negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Signs are different, so a negative answer. At that point I want to collect up my terms. So there's your x squares, watch the negatives in front. And you get a plus 4x and a plus 8x. So x cubed can't be simplified. We've got negative 4x squared, take away 2x squared. So that's going further into the negative, so it's negative 6x squared. Now we've got a plus 4x and a plus 8x, so that's plus 12x. 
and that's just a takeaway 8 on the end. Okay, I'm going to go through one more example uh, with a coefficient in front of the x be greater than 1. The same techniques used here, it's just a wee bit trickier to do. So 2x take away 1 cubed, we're going to rewrite it uh, as 2x take away 1 times 2x take away 1 times 2x take away 1 as before. Again, uh, focus on this part first. Leave the 2x minus 1 at the start and multiply out this double bracket. So 2x times 2x, do 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared. 2x times negative 1, that's negative 2x. Negative 1 times 2x is negative 2x. And negative 1 times negative 1, signs are the same, so it's a plus 1. Again, leave the front alone and simplify this wee middle bit. Negative 2x, take away 2x. That comes to negative 4. So this line goes like that. Okay, to finish off, you do your rainbows technique again. So, I'm going to just write them in for this. We're going to multiply everything by the 2x. And then we're going to multiply everything by the negative 1. So, how is that going to look? 2x times 4x squared. So, do the 2 times the 4 first to get 8 x times x squared is x cubed. We're now going to multiply the 2x by negative 4x. So do the 2 times negative 4, which is negative 8. And x times x is x squared. Finally, 2x times 1, and that's just a plus 2x. Now moving on to the negative 1. Negative 1 times 4x squared is take away 4x squared. Negative 1 times negative 4x. Do the negative 1 times negative 4. Signs are the same, so it's a plus 4x. And negative 1 times plus 1, that's negative 1 because the signs are different. Okay, to finish up, we'll just look at the things we can collect together. You've got a negative 8x squared and a negative 4x squared. And we've got a plus 2x and a plus 4x there. So 8x cubed can't be added to anything. Negative 8x squared, take away 4x, that's further into the negative, so that's negative 12x squared. Plus 2x plus 4x is 6. And finally, you can't do anything with a negative 1.